Are you deaf? What just plain stupid? I told you I had to get the hell out of my way. Get out the way. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <gasps> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell Meh. why. Who impossible. asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Oh, he's talking shit about our bro. What do we do? The holster draw weapon key, which I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> it's not R. It's not E. Not Q. Jensen, I have a message for you. From one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot this, like, takes energy to throw them. Because there's a way to, uh, you can just climb over this fence and... It's a lot easier than the way I'm going to have to do this. Beat it, loser! Which is to say... Going through... Here. And... Ugh, this is so, like... It's, it's tricky. Straight up. Uh, we're going to save. Oh, no, I can't take that. I can only look at it. I'll take this one. Don't mind me. Just just carrying a dumpster. Ooh, Ooh ouch. Actually, let's take this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, this will make life a lot easier. Crouch, grab, pick up, walk, drop, pick up, uh, pick up, drop, walk. See, this is incredibly lame and boring, also kind of monotonous, really. This is gonna go on for a while. I don't have anything good to talk about. There's a reason I'm not a YouTube personality. Alright. Oh. So, yeah, power's off now. We can walk through. Push. I can only assume that's the way you're supposed to do that. I don't think there's another way to do it. And then here's where we would have come in over, which I wouldn't have really had a way to get back over, I guess, with those boxes. Oh, thank god it shows it to me. I would have forgotten that by now. So here's the evidence locker. Information. Information. Uh... 
information. Um, that's the safe. I have to get into that, I believe. They tell you you don't, but it's one of those things where I'm pretty sure you get more if you get into it. You know, sort of. Alright, you know what? Actually, in retrospect, yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to, while I have the opportunity to, uh, yeah, nah, I don't care about that. Fortification stealth, stealth enhancer, info link, radar systems, I don't need that. Social enhancer, uh, that's the wrong thing, I am a mess. Boop, security. So now, now we have, uh, more fortification power, which means that it'll take them longer to get in. Uh, I'm not gonna risk this. I, I'm just gonna nuke them. Cause... Normally I don't use these actually, believe it or not. Uh, but I really don't wanna lose this. Access granted. Yeah. So that helps a lot. So there's a bracelet and lab notes. So yeah, we have a bracelet now, which is uh, worth something to her mom. So we have, what are our objectives? We have to go talk to the one employee uh, who we got into his computer and everything at his house and we have to talk to Megan's mom and go to our apartment. Both are at the same location so we're gonna just head on over there. Unfortunately my sprint is not as good as it could be. The uh, game could benefit from some... Hey, I hear some augments. Long time no see. Hey. Jensen. My god, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, <laughs> I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? I like your style. No, we're gonna be friendly. We're not gonna be scummy. Uh, and we're not gonna be an asshole. So we're just gonna... Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. You look a little different too, Xander. What's your new gig? Deep cover. I'm keeping tabs on the derelict rowballers for now. I've got to hunt something big. Scott. Deep cover. Why do I get a sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Tells Jensen. Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now. And we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, uh, weapon reference. dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever. And we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay. And where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? I'm not even gonna ask about it. I'm gonna Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Rules let me down. Now we're gonna be okay. realistic. But we have to be careful how we handle this. We could discredit your investigation. True, but thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me, I usually play by the book. Only this time, the bad guy's a friend of the publisher. So yeah, now we have to ask, I What guess. about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. 
He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're going to have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Apartment. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. So that's nice, because that means John's come back to her. Um, so yeah, now we have a lot of objectives at this point. Uh, that's the cash. That's, I don't even know. That's the, oh, that's meeting O'Malley. That's the apartment. That one's the apartment. That one's Sarif. That's uh, talking to the employee. And we're going to do the main mission and talk to our ex's mother. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. Complete quest. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? So yeah, now we, we go through all these boop, 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 boop. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital two a few others days later. Died, the second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power, who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. 
But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam, that's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? So yeah, this is the... Who the fuck does this? This is the type of person who keeps the bracelet. Um, I read the report. We're gonna lie to her, because... She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So, um... Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. So we've got this sick-ass apartment. These shutters roll up when we walk in, and it's really nice. So, uh, we have this little this cute little weather indicator. Um, we've got the news, we've got our food. Which, uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, well, yeah, it does, actually. We've been in here uh, a couple of times since we became uh, augmented. We got this big TV. All the media speculation surrounding we just leave a shotgun straight chilling on our desk. Or a rifle, rather. Let's get the news. Go into our uh, bedroom, which is a really low bed. I don't know if I want to sleep on a bed that low. Um, oop, more combat rifle, more combat rifle. Uh, yeah, so... Adam has problems looking at himself. Uh, he cannot. He he just cannot. So, hold on. Where is it? Use? Oh, I guess that's the sink. Yeah, it's the sink. So yeah, call landlord and replacement mirror again. So this is a problem that uh, Jensen has. We have an inventory situation on our hands at the moment. Um, we have a bit too many, too much weaponry. Let's do this. Combine the pistol. That should... there we go. I think we went through this. Yeah, we did. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're good to go. We're just gonna hook this up. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My god, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spattered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Boop, and now we've got access to our computer. 
so yeah, this is our dog. Uh, when Megan died, nobody knew what to do with Kubrick, so we took him in. Uh, I couldn't keep him, and nobody knew if he'd wake up, so didn't know what else to do. I'm really sorry he was a sweet dog. So, we assume... It, you hope that they gave them away, but the tone makes it feel like they put him down. Uh, Heidi Hall starts building into the wall. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory. Deep. Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D Row Ballers? Alright. I'm on my way. Uh, pistol? Yeah, we want that. Um, badly. Do we want that? Uh, we're gonna drop this real quick. Take this. Whoops. Just uh, combine, click. So yeah, now our pistol's got this cool little attachment. And I've got our... We're gonna close this back up. Because we don't live in a barn. Security system. And then we walk out and the system turns back on. Uh, so I can only assume that the augmentations that Adam has are linked to the house, which is pretty cool. I don't remember how to sheet this. Uh, whoa. Oh, God, this. Okay. Uh. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know why I thought G would be sheath. Or. I don't, I don't know what the other word, what the proper word is. I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. So yeah, uh, Jensen is more cultured than Pritchard. Access granted. Can't stop, won't stop. So yeah, we're just hacking into random things. We don't, we just don't care. Oh, it's a taser. I want that. Uh, fuck. There's really no good way to make room for it. We need this energy bar. Uh, we can drop this concussion grenade, because I'm... Honestly, I'm probably not going to use these. There we go. And now we should have perfectly full inventory. Oh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Alright, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that, that, um, this, 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 this. Where is it? We're just gonna take this, put there. Uh, nah, we don't wanna go there yet. I am a side quest snob, and I really like doing them. Uh, also this. Oh, I messed up. It's a nice touch that the ball bounces, honestly, because you wouldn't really expect that. Whoa. Jensen. Shit. 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 There we go. This is my ball now. Oh, hey, we have to go back into the apartment that we were in for uh, the, ha the information. Uh, doors over here for the stairs. Uh, crap. There we go. I don't know the code, but I don't care.
Access granted. Ta-da. So actually, I think we might be in trouble here because uh, I don't have enough inventory to pick up the item that they want me to pick up, if I remember correctly. And it is a pretty large item. Uh, read that because I think that's relevant. New access code. I don't know who leaves these types of things like in the room. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God they saved me here. Okay. Because that was. That was rough. Alright, we're gonna close this door. And we're actually gonna get cheeky, because I know it's gonna happen. So, yeah, we're gonna read that pocket secretary again. So I have the code, because I forgot it already. And apparently, there's a lot of pocket secretaries that are not considered new. Alright, there we go. Scary manner. Uh, all right. So we have the crossbow arrows. We have the crossbow, which I'm supposed to take. Um, I don't care enough right now. Uh, H. There we go. He's got a shotgun just by his toilet, cause you know, living on the edge. We can act to the safe. Access granted. <laughs> None of that helps with the computer, ironically enough. Alright. Oh, that's right, there's a fortify option, I forgot about that. That is literally why I took that thing. Access granted. Alright, gate code. I can't see the crossbow. That's so bizarre. I guess I was supposed to talk to him first. I haven't learned the secrets. <laughs> 